like thousands of other people who work at Twitter, the cleaning crew was also laid off. It's the latest group to take legal action against Elon Musk. And today, that cleaning crew, that crew got a big boost from some big name local politicians. However, Mayor Breed in San Francisco choosing her words carefully when it comes to Elon Musk. Here's NBC Bay Area, Sergio Quintana. On the steps of San Francisco City Hall, some of the Twitter cleaning crew workers that have now been locked out of the building for weeks announced two legal actions. They're filing claims with the National Labor Relations Board against a new cleaning crew contractor at Twitter, and they're filing lawsuits in state court claiming Twitter violated state and local laws by abruptly ending its written agreement with their old contractor. In the city and county of San Francisco, there are laws that protect workers. There are laws that they have to be bound to respect. The former cleaning crew has been picketing outside Twitter headquarters for weeks. And at today's event, city and state leaders joined in blasting Elon Musk's actions since taking over and the way he's treated the cleaning crew workers and other former employees. Elon Musk is letting Nazis back onto the platform. Did Elon Musk go to kindergarten? Because in kindergarten... We learn that we have to share with one another, to treat one another with respect. Among those at this event, San Francisco Mayor London Breed. Elon Musk has already criticized the mayor after city building inspectors were sent to Twitter headquarters because of complaints that he set up sleeping quarters in the building. Mayor London Breed and other city leaders have tough talk for the way that Twitter is treating its former employees. But the mayor is also careful to say she's willing to work with Elon Musk. To try and p appeal to the empathetic side of this company that has enjoyed significant tax breaks at the beginning of their inception when they decided to go to mid-market. This all comes amid new reports from the New York Times claiming Twitter has not been paying rent on its properties, including the San Francisco headquarters, and a new listing on bidspotter.com that appears to show everything from Twitter's office furniture to its neon logos are now up for auction. City leaders say they want Twitter to be a better employer, but they don't want the company to leave. I mean, listen, any company that leaves San Francisco, we're not happy here in San Francisco. We want to ensure that we're retaining because those are real jobs. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.